you are here on purpose with a purpose by design. Hello and welcome back to Purpose by Design. I am Dr. Pamela Hinkle and today we continue with the amazing Wholeness and Health on Purpose series. And today is very, it's very unique because, uh, you know, we've been having so many experts coming in and giving downloads and sharing and, and so much more to come. But today is unique because we're continuing Dr. Terry Drassel's interview, in a say, uh, you could put it that way, because he talked about, you know, different things with chiropractic care. Dr. Terry Dressel has been my chiropractor for well over 20 years. He's amazing. But he also is a doctor of the ChiroThin program. And so I just had this kind of brain idea that I would bring on a couple of people that I know personally that have gone through the program and have had incredible an incredible experience and they could come on and testify and share about it. So who better to bring on than my pastor? Pastor Donato is here with us. There he is. And then also my son-in-law, who I call my son in love, Benjamin. Ben's here. <laughs> so you are in for a treat, everybody, because you're going to hear their stories today. And I'll share some of mine as well. But with that, I'm ready to just jump in. So Donato, Pastor Donato, why don't you start us off and tell us a little bit about you? Who are you? Well, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, I, I don't know that I'm anything in particular other than a whole lot of things. So it's it's hard to say, you know, in, in my IT career, I've always called myself a jack of all trades, and I'm kind of that in life as well. So, you know, I am a pastor, as you've mentioned, and, you know, a husband, father, and grandfather, if you can see the little sign back here, man of God. Yeah. Um, work in IT and all sorts of things. So, you know, I, uh, yeah, I really am that kind of jack of all trades. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, we got, we, Ben and I both did the Cairo pro, uh, Cairo thin program together. I kind of forced him into it a little bit. It was the second time I did it. So I, uh, egged him along to, to get it done. So. Absolutely. And you're forgetting one more thing, author. You are oh, an yes. author. Yes. And right now we're just a, about a week away or so from our launch. And so Pastor Donato is one of the contributing authors in the Les Brown and John Tallarico new anthology book, which just means it's a bunch of authors that came together. And he, and the name of that book is The Greatness in You, capital Y, capital O, capital U. And that is getting ready to launch. And so you'll be able to get that book. You're going to want to purchase it from Pastor Donato for sure. All right. So I wanted to make sure we said that, that you were an author. And, and my, probably, own, my own uh, YouTube podcast series too. See, and what's the name of your podcast series? You got to mention mm. that. Well, it's Get Motivated. Get or motivated. Donato Motivates. That's the website. Nice. All right. Now, all that's in the description. Thank you, Pastor Donato. Okay, Ben, take it away. Tell us all. Who are you? Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Mom. <laughs> um, yes, but I'm Ben. Uh, I am a husband to uh, Pamela's daughter. Um, as well as we have our own little girl, Aria. Um, she's four. She's sassy. She keeps us on our toes. Um, but I, I'm in sales as of recently. Um, I like to joke around a lot, and I'm a, a man of God. So. Yes, yeah. you are. And you are a writer as well. You've done a lot of helping me with writing. 
a lot of editing. You have a real gift in that arena. So I want to just make sure we highlight all of those things that you do. All right. So, well, we're going to go on in here, guys, and we're going to dive in and talk about our Kyrothen experience. And, and I will just highlight it in the beginning and say, you know, I've always been someone that I take good care of my, my physical frame. I think that health uh, is, is something that you don't have to wait for the big bomb to drop before you should be concerned about it. I think we can head so many things off in the past and even before they even get to us, if we'll just take care of our bodies. I consider my body to be the temple of God. And so how did the priests of the Old Testament take care of the temple? Well, they they took very good care of it. So it's up to us to take that initiative, right? And take care of this frame that needs to carry us through our 120 years. Woo! that we're here and we don't just want to get through it we want to really have a positive quality life where we are active serving god doing what we're supposed to be doing here all the way until uh we were until it's over and we hear it's time to come up hither and out we go right we want to have quality life while we're here and one of the biggest things I think in that is well, what, what we're putting in our body. What are we eating? What are we not eating? What are we drinking that we shouldn't be or what should we be doing more of? And well, for years, for me, I had a real hard time getting the scale to go beneath a certain number. And it really bothered me. And it wasn't that, that, that I was uh, so overweight that uh, I was uncomfortable with it, but I, I knew that I could do better. I knew that dropping another 30 or 40 pounds would be really good for my physical frame. It would be good for my health. But I ran into all kinds of hiccups and I just couldn't, I just couldn't get there. Well, I injured my knee, as both of you know. I was at a dog park and injured my knee. And it was at the beginning of the summer, it was a year ago, and I thought, Oh, great. So now my plans have run amok. I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do to get my body in shape and push past the scale. And I was I was kind of down on my luck, so to say. Well, I went to see Car uh, Terry, excuse me, for a chiropractic appointment and he, for my knee, of course. And he said, well, have you considered chiro then? Because you know, and you guys will talk about this, I'm sure, you can't exercise while you're on it. And I was like, what? Okay, this is what I need because going out and walking those 10,000 steps and taking the yoga classes and going to the gym wasn't going to be able to do that for like 10 to 12 weeks or more. So I jumped into Cairo then and I lost 40 pounds, 40 plus pounds. It was amazing, and I wasn't starving. How could you lose that much weight? Uh, you know, it, it's the program, and it's the different amino acids. It's the mixture of the chirothin drops that you take, which are all good for you, and Dr. Terry's talked about that already. But I made a decision that if I was going to invest in my, to my physical body and do this, I was going to do it all the way. I was going to follow the rules and there weren't that many rules. There was some restrictions and things that we couldn't eat, but it was the best decision I had made in so long. And I not only was I able to drop the weight, it's still off. I, I didn't put any of it back on. None of it, not one pound has come back on. And to me, that's amazing but it changed my lifestyle of how I live, my life physically, how I eat. I'm just so much more aware of things. And so through my process, these guys in my life, two of the most favorite people in my life right here, two of them, they watched it and they saw what was happening to me and started asking questions. And so they went to see Dr. Terry Dressel and took the leap of faith and entered into the program. And now they have this incredible testimonial. So um, Ben, why don't you start off and, and tell us a little bit about your experience, what made you finally do it? And then uh, and then we'll hear from Donato. So tell us a little bit about your Cairo Thin experience, Benjamin. Ben, Ben. 
All right, fair enough. So, um, yeah, I mean, basically, I, I saw you in real time doing it and losing it. I mean, I just remember, remember one specific day, I've been like, oh, my gosh, she's lost so much weight. Uh, and I was just blown away. And it was like in no time, too. So it was just a matter of like, man, this is crazy. And I should take a step back and also explain that. You know, I used to be big into working out. I used to be big into, I was always in good shape until I wasn't. <laughs> COVID didn't help anything. Um, my normal weight was always 200. And somehow I got to like basically 270 pounds, which is depressing to say. <laughs> but uh, it's the truth. And I, you know, I want to get back in the gym. I'm not there yet, but I'm still... You know, I'm still doing my Cairo thin type diet. Um, I did it and I, I did it with Donato. I should also say that Donato, once I found out that he was going to do it for a second time, I was, that really gave me the, jump the gun for me. And I ended up, you know, doing it with him. <laughs> so, and that's where I got to finally, finally meet Terry. I would, always heard so many amazing things. You know, I vicariously knew him through you. <laughs> but I got to actually meet him and um, such a wonderful guy. And yes. we we would talk for as long as we possibly could every time I went. He's a great guy. Um, but the diet itself was absolutely incredible. I mean, I, I did it, you know, and I I definitely had my like my weakness, my weakness moments as well. But, you know, you just push through and you just keep keep going at it. And even with my you know, my lapses in, uh, you know, a sugary treat here and there or something. I still lost, I think it was 30, 30 ish pounds. So it's absolutely incredible. And that's like within a 40 day time frame too. So absolutely. It's just nuts. 30 pounds <laughs> in 40 days. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you guys all hear that? 30 pounds in 40 days. Yeah. Do you think that Cairo Thin is safe, Ben? I do. Yep, I do. I had a lot of questions, as you know, at first, but uh, after I did it, I mean, the drops certainly help with, you know, suppressing your hunger and things like that. Um, I thought it was, yeah, I really wasn't hungry and I, I would, I plan to do it again. <laughs> That's for sure. Awesome. Okay, so Donato, how about you? So you ended up getting Ben hooked in, pulled him in, but that was on your second time through it. So tell us yep. about your first experience and then how did you loop Ben in? What, what, did, what did it take? <laughs> well, I call him a slacker a lot, so. <laughs> I was going to say charm and wit. <laughs> So oddly enough, I actually happen to have some of the drops here. <laughs> I still got stuff left over from when I, I did it last and, and the little pills that you don't have to take, but they help. And um, so, yeah, I think, whoa, what was it? The first time I did it, winter, I believe, sometime. I forget the exact time frame. Um and yeah, you know, I, I, I dropped 30 pounds in that 40 days as well. Uh, the very first time, um, about that for the, for the second time though, towards the end, I had a little bit of an issue because it was my anniversary and I kind of stopped doing it. <laughs> so, um, uh, Ben caught up with me because I was giving him a hard time the whole time and we were uh, comparing our weights. Because we were like literally at the same weight when yeah. when we weighed in, and then we were we were losing the weight, and then I was like a pound ahead of them uh, <laughs> for for the weight loss, and we just kept going back and forth. So it was kind of funny. Good motivation though, you know, having having somebody uh, with you to to do that kind of thing. So you know, there's there's a lot to probably talk about as far as that you know, specific program goes, you know, and having somebody with you is, is, is pretty key. The first time I didn't, 
and and it was okay because you know I knew you for example and and maybe some others that I had that experience from Terry really <laughs> helps to guide you through the process what you need is the commitment right you have to you have to you know set it between the space in your ears here right to 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 be focused to be committed and to do it and yeah. that's with anything and and I think that's that's one of the big takeaways is you won't be successful basically if you're choosing not to be right if you're not committed to it if you don't have a plan and a purpose the will to do it right um, it's not going to happen but if you got the will to do it, you're going to succeed. You're going to follow the program. You're going to be diligent in doing everything. And, and, and that's one of the biggest keys. So again, there's a lot to the program itself that we could probably get into. I mean, Pamela, you, you touched on a moment ago, you know, about things in the Bible, right? I mean, there's, there's things that are called out specifically in the Bible on how to eat um, there's a Daniel diet out there that goes on the way that they, ate, you know, the point and the principle of all of these things is that commitment. You have to have that commitment. You got to have that will. And then, yeah, you have to do something that's safe. That's, that's sensible. Right. And I think that's where the Kyra thin diet specifically comes into play because you get a well-balanced, um, diet. It's not totally eliminating certain things that like potentially are good for you, like protein. Um, you know, it, it incorporates everything basically into it, except for maybe sugar. Right. Um, and, and it, it, it tells you or shows you how you really should be eating. And when you're doing the right things, like drinking water, right? Um, you know, your body starts to line up. So that's really good. Your body starts to line up. Talk about that a little bit more. How did you see your body start to line up? And, and I want you to answer that question too, Ben. Donato, how did your body start to line up? What does that mean? What did that look like? What did it feel like? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, you know, right now we're we're technically in the the maintenance phase, I suppose, to some degree. Um, it's it's probably technically over. Um, but as Ben mentioned, you know, we're still trying to adhere to the principles, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, for example. I was a big soda drinker. Well, the soda I drank was not diet <laughs> and, um, you know, contained sugar, right? Be it corn syrup or actual sugar. Um, and, and that's, that's to a degree, not good for you. It might taste good, um, but it's, it's not the best for you. So changing the things that I drank, for example, just that alone, and drinking just water, that was a bit of a shock in a sense, trying to adjust to that. But again, you have to have that commitment, that willpower to do it. Um, you know, actually the first time I, I sort of knew that that was going to happen. So I, I started increasing that intake because I'm not a big fan of water or I wasn't because um, I'd get thirsty, right? Like water actually made me more thirsty, which is kind of strange, but it did. And, um, but that's again, the body not lining up because mm -hmm. the body was thirsty for those things. And now I do still drink a lot. You know, I drink about a gallon worth of water every day, wow. but you know, the, the things that you do are regulated more so. So if you have a drink of soda, for example, kind of like Ben was saying, he cheated once in a while a little bit. Um, you, you, you realize how sugary things are, or, you know, maybe salty if you cut out some salt or 
different things like that. And it's, it's your body realigning, right? And, and you see things in yourself, like your skin getting better and your, you know, body not aching as much and, you know, just different things like that, where again, it's, it's lining up because you're feeding it the good things. You know, another example of that is I didn't eat a lot of fruit. I love fruit. I just never really ate much of it. <laughs> and, and this diet forces you to eat protein, vegetables, and fruit every meal, right? So again, it's giving your, your body your, the stuff that it needs right. and it lines it up. And then your body actually isn't as hungry because we touched on that a little bit, you know, and once your body gets used to those good things, mm -hmm. it, it lines up. It's, it's just, it's just kind of interesting. You really almost have to experience it, but there's a lot of different benefits health wise that I'm not even getting into that, that you can benefit from it. Um, you know, that, that people have medical issues, even that, they go on the diet and, and they don't have to take certain things or their, you know, issues improve. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And I love how you said that um, your body aligned and part of that alignment was not being as hungry, even after you're done taking the, the, the chirothin drops, which is not some, it, it is the secret sauce, but it's not a magic pill. All that's doing is giving your body some extra nutrients that it needs as you are transitioning or as Donato said, aligning to this new lifestyle yeah. of eating, which when it came comes down to it is what we should be eating. Fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, and uh, some protein and start cutting out the carbs and the sugars in, in excess. So I loved how you said that, that you weren't as hungry. That was part of that alignment that now you've, you're eating the right way and you're not sitting there having the cravings. That was a big thing for me. Cravings were like gone. They were just gone. And I don't really crave. And I was a person that would crave salt and I would also crave sweet. And I was a little nervous when I started at Cairo then, because I was wondering how was I going to navigate that? Well, I chose to put that out of my head because what we think about, we bring about. And so I just chose to, cho I'm not going to even go there and think about it. But, and I was so, it was such a treasure to to not have those uh, cravings that they literally didn't come up and they they, they haven't returned. So to me, I, I can totally get my head around what you're talking about when you say that your body aligning and how you said mm -hmm. you would drink a lot of fluids before. You're still drinking a lot of fluids, but now you're literally hydrating your body, Donato, and yep. not just continuing to give it some fluid that is actually taking hydration out. Well, and if, so, if you yes, think about deal. it too, the sodas actually have other than sugar acids in them. True. And if you eat certain foods, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm big into Italian, right? Have a lot of acid type foods. Well, then your body gets more acidic. Yes. And if you're not, you know, curbing that with water, right? You're not realkalining mm -hmm. and, and you're, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're just, you're not balanced. Right. And that's, that's the key in life and every, anything is to have, find that balance. That helps. not balance. always easy, but that's, no. that's what you got to do. And you're right. And so many of our vegetables, Hey, here's just a little freebie for you. So many of our vegetables are super alkaline and they're water-based in fact, in Cairo, then there are vegetables that are called free vegetables. And you can eat as much of them as you want because uh, they're mostly water. And I never thought that sitting down with uh, some cucumber and some peppers and maybe a couple of mushrooms thrown in there with some type of seasoning would actually fill me up. But I would be so filled up like I was full. And so I, I and and on the flip side, we're hydrating ourselves and you're seeing such a difference in how you feel, your energy level to me. I just did totally 
totally transferred my energy. I was like, wow, my, my energy is transformed here. Like I, I'm not, it's not as hard to get up in the morning, all those things. So that alignment is key. Uh, ben, tell us about that for you. What, how did you see your body aligning as you went through the, uh, through the Kyrothin program and even today on the other side of it? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, and the, the biggest thing for me, uh, my energy went, I mean, through the roof. I've never been more, I've never had more energy in my life. Uh, I was absolutely shocked. I remember talking to Donato and just saying, dude, my energy is just crazy right now. Like, I, I'm not tired. And I'm in sales and you have to be energetic. You have to have tonality when you talk. You have to have all these things. And I mean, it, it's seriously amazing. It's I was I was eating like a Jack's pizza every night, you know, with a pop and not it, it's it's really, it's rather disgusting when I <laughs> when I list it out, but <laughs> it uh I was just eating a normal didn't care what I ate, and hence why I was at two hundred and seventy pounds. But you know, you after about a week or two of eating this, I, I, my energy just skyrocketed. It. Um, I I felt so good, and I had a little regression after Cairo. Then I, I kind of, you know, I've been watching my protein. And I've been still like calorie counting, but it hasn't been as clean. Um, but so I gained like five pounds, and now I'm I'm getting back to where I was because I'm really focused on you know watching what foods i eat based on cairo thing and um it's seriously the most balanced amazing i you get that natural sugar through the fruit that you eat it's 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 incredible yeah so you you touched on something that i think is really important we circle back to nobody is expected on cairo thin or really let's just be honest i'm just going to be honest all of us are human and there's birthday parties and there's other events. And Cairo then is not asking you to never eat that piece of cake, to never have that bowl of ice cream or whatever, right? But when we do that, and you talked about that. So first of all, thank you for being transparent and not just like, well, I'm Superman and I just, you know, eat fruits and veggies all day long. Woo, you know, because we do still live and we need to indulge and have that ability to enjoy those things that we like, whether it's that peanut butter cookie or it's tiramisu. There's, there it is for me right there. Okay. So Ben, you said that you indulged, that you kind of, you know, went out and enjoying a few things and that you put on some weight. And now you're in the process of getting rid of that, going back into that Cairo thin way of eating, which is the the fruits and the vegetables. I'm highlighting this because what did you notice in your body? What was happening out of maybe the body coming out of alignment, maybe from going from eating all this great food, healthy food, having all this energy. And now you've made this choice and you put on a few pounds and you're going, wow, you know what? I feel this way now. Do you, did you notice like big a change? A, big a change. change? What yep. was it? I was right back. My energy was right back to where it used to be. I mean, it was immediately night and day different. And that's where I'm like, I'm not doing this again. I'm not gonna, I didn't just, you know, go through all this because it's still work. I mean, yes, you lose a lot of weight fast, but you still are literally adhering to this absolute change in diet. If you were like me, that is, if you were, you know, for some people, maybe it won't be as big of a change. But for me, I wasn't just eating, you know, <laughs> sometimes just lunch meat with a nice veggie and then fruit. You know, it wasn't like that for me. So not in my normal diet. So and you can make some. I learned how to cook these amazing meals. Oh, it's just I'm salivating right now just thinking about it. And I already ate. <laughs> but yeah, if you what you put in your body, you feel kind of like you are what you eat. It's, it's kind of the same mentality there. Um, yeah. What you put in your body, you feel. Yep. That's powerful. So when you were putting the wrong things in your body after going through Chiron, then what'd your body feel? You talked about having less energy, but 
Tell us what that felt like. Was that, you know, you're walking around groggy, got a yeah. sugar oh, hangover. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, kind of all of it, honestly. <laughs> kind of all of it. Like, uh, I would feel, you know, I feel groggy. My energy levels wouldn't be great. Digestive system is completely changed. Um, you know, just, uh, I was like, do I go there? Do I not go there? But I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it matters. I mean, what, what you eat, what you put in your body, you know, your, digest, your digestive tract, it all matters. And for me, I mean, Cairo thin, if you stick to that, if you do that, you know, make it a lifestyle, your body's thanking you. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> wow. I love that. Your body is thanking you well, instead and- of your body being upset with you. And how many times do we thank our bodies? Uh, you know, hey, thanks for, uh, you know, I kind of beat you up for the last 10, 15, 20 years, whatever, you know, didn't eat right, didn't sleep right, asked a lot of you. And, um, you know, thanks for putting up with me, <laughs> right? And, and now we want to give our bodies what they need so that our bodies go, oh, thank you right Mm -hmm. to make it easier to thrive in life that's really powerful ben can i say one more thing i just thought of something else too to not have touched on it but clear uh uh clear skin i have i had acne up and on through my whole entire like teenhood and oh that's no fun for anyone but i mean even in my 20s I, i still get zits you know on my face nothing crazy but you know the you know the ones that you like don't like the oh no there's a zit you know, yeah. and I'm um, 29 now, and even up till now, I was getting them. And I always was wondering, does diet really affect your skin? You know, eh. but I have, I rarely get any, you know, my acne just completely. I, I had clear skin, like I wish I always had. And that was, it was a big one for me, you know? Wow. Um, so that was really cool. I felt like my skin was, the water intake was definitely, I didn't, I was not a water drinker. And You know, I definitely am now. (laughs) So I think that probably had a lot to do with it, too. That's huge. And that's, again, showing that alignment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So as you started purging that out of your body, that stuff, and giving it what it needs in your body, saying, thank you, thank you, right? Now, one of the things you really noticed was a change in your skin. That's huge, right? Wow. Very much so. And that's a big deal. And yeah, you're right. When you were saying that, I was like, yeah, yeah, I can remember, you know, um, you saying things to me over the, you know, the years about like having a break. Oily skin or yeah. Yeah, yeah oily skin changed. and break out. And yeah, you haven't had any of that. No. Nope. Wow. Just completely went away. <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you for sharing that. Mm-hmm. So Donato, back to you. So you went through Kyrothin once. And then you went through it again. So number one, why did you go through it twice? And then how did you get Ben in? Well, I mean, I went through it twice because I'm still not satisfied with my weight. (laughs) I I still have more that I even want to lose. I, I, you know... I don't know. I want to want to look and feel like I'm in my twenties, right? <laughs> but um, um, yeah. So I I still had just had more weight to lose, and and uh, you know Ben and I talk pretty regular, and I was just trying to encourage him, um, you know, to go for it, right? And and I was explaining it to him and working with him on it, and. You both were. Oh no, you gotta drink water. What? (laughs) And you know, stuff like that. And you know, but I I roped him into it. I'm like, come on, man, you gotta do it with me. Well, you had lost so much weight too. That was the other thing, is I'd already seen you. I was like, Holy mackerel, look at him. Right. (laughs) And that's the thing. Again, you you know, you stick to it, you got that that will, that discipline, you know, that commitment to do it. And yeah, I dropped 30 pounds without a without any issues, and then I kept losing until I didn't follow the diet anymore. <laughs> and then, like Ben said, I started putting a few pounds back on, and then it was time to do it a second time again to get back, you know, to to where I was. So, 
So, and where you're at now, how much weight have you lost in total? Oh, I don't know. Cause I, you know, I lose some and I gain a little back or something in, in the, in the midst of all of this, but oh. you know, I mean, close to 50 pounds at least. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So here you loved it so much that you went back for round two. Yep. That's amazing. So now there is a, there is a little bit of a clause in there about round two, because you can't just keep going. Talk about that, Donato, because you had to take a break before you could go back. Right. So, so the program is a very interesting one. If you want to get into the whole details about it and, and both Ben and I were challenged on this because we both do love food, but the first two days of the diet, you have to like gorge yourself. It's very, it's a very weird diet. There's no exercise in the first two days. You got to gorge yourself, right? So you have to build up fat in your body basically for the duration of, of the diet, even though you've already got enough probably. Um, you, you have to consume like 5,000 calories each day for the first two days. Oh. And, and that's challenging, um, even if you eat a lot like Ben and I are accustomed to, right? So there's that. And then again, the, the, the no exercise. And then you start to drink, you know, nothing but water. Um, and then you change your diet like, like Ben mentioned. But it's really not that hard because, you know, you have protein which for me is big. I have to have meat, right? Um, but it's it's not fatty meat. That's that's kind of the key there. You have vegetables. You have fruit. And again, I like all of these things, but I mean, a little dissimilar from what Ben was saying, I, I love cooking and, and I, I'm fine with cooking all these different types of foods together and, and stuff like that. So it wasn't as much of a stretch for me as it is for him. But, you know, he, he adapted, right? And, and I think he caught the, the essence of, like, what I was doing a little bit, you know. And, I mean, make a good soup. I mean, it's, it's, it's really not that hard. And, and you alluded to, you know, you can have, like, a big salad even. Yes. Right? And, and have as much as that as you want, basically. Throw your protein in there. Throw your regular vegetables in there. And, and you're full. I mean, yeah. so you're not like starving through the diet and that's, that's the key thing. And then once the 40 days is over, because that's another key principle here, it's actually just like, you know, Jesus was in the desert for the 39 days, right? Being tested by Satan. There's a key thing in our bodies and, and this is like proven with medical science even, Okay. That after that 39 day mark, your body starts to go into this like complete starvation mode where you're going to die. <laughs> okay. It might not be quite that drastic, but your, your body starts to tell you after a starvation period of like that, that, Hey, it's time to eat and you have to listen to it. Right. And, and so that's, that's another thing with the diet. It's, it's only for that short period of time, okay? And then you start upping the amounts of foods that you eat, but you still stay to the same type of diet, and, and you're still losing through this process. So you maintain that for six to eight weeks until you kind of plateau, and then, you know, you can cheat a little bit, um, but you're really supposed to adhere to it because it's a new way of life, okay? And, and if you stick to that, you'll do well. If you falter on it, like I have a little bit, you start gaining a few pounds again. And, and it's sometimes tough to get back in that cycle. So again, you have to be disciplined. Um, but I've been having soup myself here. So I threw some chicken and some vegetables in a, in a soup the last couple of days and I've been eating that. And so I've been on the diet. <laughs> That is so awesome. And you loved it so much. You went back for round two. 
Yep. And I think that that speaks really loudly of the program. There isn't a special diet where you have to order somebody, you have to order food from somewhere and they have to deliver it to you. It's everything that you can get in the produce aisle and then whatever it is that you choose for protein. And if you think about it, look at other cultures around the world. So exclude America. Look at all the other cultures around the world. What do they eat? True. They eat fresh foods and vegetables and fruits and meat. Yeah. I mean, if they live by the sea, they're catching their their meat, right? If, yeah. if they're by something else, they're growing it or hunting it or whatever they're doing. I mean, it's only us here in America for the most part that eating all this processed stuff that's been preserved. Right. And, and we're screwing up our own bodies. I mean, that's really the long and short of it. People a hundred plus years ago, right, that that were living here in America didn't have this problem. You know, it's it's just interesting what we've done to ourselves. That's so true. And Cairo then kind of reels you back in, doesn't it? Yep. It and trains you, you. It trains you. That's good, Ben. Talk about that. How did it train you? I mean, I didn't know how to get myself back to where I used to be. And I figured that this would be a good start where I didn't feel like I had no basis to go off of going in the gym at 270 pounds. So I was like, I have to do something. And that's when I saw both of you. You both look like two different people. So I was like, okay, I'm doing this thing because it'll, if I can lose 30, 40 pounds, what an amazing situation in such a short amount of time too, right? Um, yeah. Not to mention just retraining my mind, renewing my mind to what tastes good to my body, right? What 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 is an appropriate amount of food? Not five thousand, not not three thirty five hundred calories like I was used to, you know. But um, just it trained my mind to go back to what it used to be for an, for an extended time, where I could I could get off of it and be fine. Like I could just keep doing it. And I don't, I don't need pizza as much anymore. I don't need pasta that much. You know, I don't need sweets um, or I'll have an apple, you know, because I get that natural sugar and it, it, it helps, you know, it satisfies my sweet tooth now where it wouldn't be yeah. more. So it's absolutely incredibly worth it. I love how you talked about it, retraining. And, and you said that you had to renew your mind to it. And, and that's a big deal. And I think sometimes people are scared to jump in and try something like Cairo then because what? No sugar. Ah, <laughs> right. But yet I wasn't missing the ice cream. I wasn't missing. Really? You weren't missing? No, I wasn't. And I had birthday parties at the house and maybe, you know, I think at one of my kids' birthdays, they were like, mommy, you're not even going to have a bite of my ice cream cake, which by the way, I had made. And I wasn't tempted to sit there and eat the ice cream. But I had a bite because my kiddo was like, really, you're not even going to celebrate me with like, oh, gosh, OK, fine, I'll have a bite, you know. And I went, that doesn't taste the way I remember it tasting. But when I would sit down with my strawberries and put a little monk fruit on them, I was like, oh, my gosh, that is so good. Now, again, not saying don't eat the ice cream. But it is that retraining in the mind that these things that we are so used to common, commonplace to eat, that you can actually enjoy eating a red pepper. Oh, yeah. An apple. You, you, you don't have to. Um, we, we can retrain our brain as to what health and nutrition should look like. And so that's so true. And I can say, uh, honestly, how Ben has totally revamped and changed the way he eats because I've watched it happen. I've seen you here at the house and uh, some, taking smaller portions, saying no, um, eating more of the salad or the veggies instead of what would have happened before. So you have definitely made huge changes. And you guys have both talked about the fact that 
and I mentioned it too, but let's, let's tell why. You didn't have to exercise because exercise is really, really good for you. So why are we excited that we didn't have to exercise? Well, I was excited because I had an injury and I was happy that I could do something to get more healthy, right? And still, uh, and, and not have to feel bad because I wasn't at the gym. But then why, why is it that Dr. Terry and the Chirothin program says you shouldn't exercise right now? I mean, yeah, I mean, this, this diet is, you know, chiropractor supervised because, you know, for a reason it's, it's definitely a, a low calorie amount that you're taking in. And, um, what I was advised to do was, you know, at, at best take a, take a small walk that isn't too strenuous. Um, and I, you know, you're a very low calorie amount and you got to pr protect yourself essentially. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's true. Cause if you're going out working really hard in a workout, you're burning, you're faint. You could faint. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you're, you're, you're going to burn too many calories and, and you're, you're not giving yourself enough back in. So you right. lay low for 40 days, take a brisk walk, do some gentle yoga, something like that. And, and, and then don't worry day 41, you can start going back to the gym and doing your running and all of that. If you want to do it. Um, Pastor Donato, one of the things that was so amazing, and we'll start to wrap up here uh, pretty quickly, but I want to make sure that you guys get a chance to answer this question. So Pastor Donato, to you first, one of the most amazing things to me as I went through Cairo then, because I have exercised, I've been on different e eating plans. One of the most amazing things for me was that I got younger. And what I mean by that was metabolically speaking, I didn't literally get younger, but I dropped 15 years metabolically speaking in my body. So my body at the end of Kyrothen felt 15 years younger. And so I went from being a bit older metabolically than my, than my age to being considerably younger than my physical age. And my body felt that, my skin showed that, my energy level expressed that. And that was one thing that I had not been able to achieve no matter what I had tried to do. And that was huge to me. So Pastor Donato, did you find that that same thing happened to you when you were on the program? Yeah, it's it's interesting. I probably didn't lose as many years as you did. Um, and I've probably still got a few to go to get back <laughs> down to the age I'm supposed to be at. But, um, you know, it, it's funny, you know, we as people is talk about, oh, I feel so old or, you know, I'm getting older, or whatever. Well, you are what you speak, right? You bring it right. into existence. But um, it's it's interesting because you you don't see or know about that metabolic rate unless you do something like this right right when you step on a That's scale you just say oh i'm 200 plus pounds or or mm -hmm. and women 100 plus right whatever it might be but you so you see that you're aware of that you're aware of your actual birth date and and your x amount of years old right Right. I think we've celebrated your 29th a few times at least already, right? <laughs> anniversaries, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, you, you just know those things. Until you do something like this, you don't know what toll has been taken on your body from eating the sugar, from eating the carbs, from eating all the junk food, all the processed stuff. <laughs> and this scale device that terry uses it tests and knows i don't know how it knows i mean some of this baffles me a little bit and i'm kind of a techie science type person but it 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 measures the water content in your body it measures your muscle and your fat your bone content i mean it knows all of these things mm -hmm. by you know just holding on to it and, and reading it. It's, it's pretty fascinating. And from that, it, 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 it deciphers what your, your metabolic age is. Okay. And, you know, 
for me, it was high. <laughs> I might be a grandpa, but I, I was really showing the grandpa in, in, in the, in the age, the myelobolic age. Right. And, and it's like, yeah, you know, sometimes I do feel like that. Right. So yeah. this helps you one to, to lose the weight, to get realigned, to make yourself feel better. Right. I still got a little bit of a gut that I need to work off. And, and that's the thing I want to, I want to get to that point. Maybe I'll never have a six pack again. Right. But I don't want a keg right now. <laughs> And, and and that's kind of the thing. I want to I want to feel slim and trim. Yeah. I don't want to be carrying a, a bunch of unnecessarily weight around. And yeah. and when I lost the weight, especially the first time, um, you know that like Ben was saying is very noticeable. I lost it in all of my limbs around my neck and things like that for the vast majority of it. I did the second time too, but I lost some around my waist and and things also. So, I mean, all of that brings, brings your age down and yeah. you do, you start to feel better. And mm -hmm. like I kind of casually mentioned other issues in your body that you may or may not be aware of actually get better. I mean, yeah. you know, you can't, you can't medically say that this is going to solve your problems. Right. But I mean, it does help certain things. And, you know, everybody's going to be a little different because all of our bodies are chemically different and things like that. But it's, it's only going to do your body good to eat the right things, you know? So and if, and, and even though there's the drops that, that help your metabolism and things like that to burn oh. off the fat and things, which is, is really the fundamental part of, of this diet, the structure that it's given you that we keep with us in this maintenance phase or as we go on in life is the key important thing, right? That if we follow those principles and eat the right things, you're going to maintain the weight and get to where you need to be. And it's healthy living. So good. I love that. So you felt the difference in your body changing and becoming more youthful and saw so many health changes happen in you as you walked through this. Uh, ben, how about you? Now you're 29, you, you said it so I can repeat it, you're 29. So people would think, well, you know, he's a young man, right? Like he couldn't be feeling old or his body is, you know, metabolically, he's, he's young. So tell us your journey with that. Did you start finding that you all of a sudden felt healthier, more youthful. Did you find that you metabolically changed in age? When you went on that, were you surprised at where you were to where you became? What's your journey there? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring back in. Like for me, it was the energy level was just it was night and day, and that was, you know, just insane. Um, metabolic rate, I can't. I can't quite, I, I definitely lost, but I know I lost some visceral, some visceral fat as well, which you were like, wow, yeah. you lost quite a bit, <laughs> um, which is good. You know, I think yeah. I lost all my, I had a lot of inflammation. I mean, no water, all this starchy, you know, crap you put in your body, what do you expect, right? So, um, but I, mean, I know every, everything on the charts that you want to go a certain way, it went with this diet. That's that I can definitely confirm. Beautiful. So we are looking at two gentlemen at different places in different ages that are saying, whoa, this made a difference. Not just did I drop the inches, did I drop the sizes, but they're saying how much better they felt, the energy level, the awareness. Another thing for me was awareness. Just I was so much more alert and I didn't realize, now I don't think I ever lived in a fog, but I felt like the fog had lifted and like really I could see clear. So that was another little piece for me that I'd like to just make sure I chime in about. So in closing here, Ben, what would you say to people that are contemplating ChiroThin or that are going, 
that's interesting. Maybe I should check it out. I mean, or, you know, like, I don't know, do I, maybe I don't. I mean, I like the way I'm eating, you know, I can identify with what Ben's saying, but I just don't know if it's for me. What, what do you say to that person listening today? Yeah. I mean, um, if you, if you want to lose weight, don't look, at, don't look anywhere else. I mean, you're going to lose weight uh, with this. Um, that, that's for sure. I mean, um, I, I don't know. It, it does cost, you know, something, which I think only helped me because if you invest now, your, your attention is caught. Um, yes. You know, it's not going to break the bank or anything, but it's enough to make you realize, Hey, you got to take this seriously, you know? Um, so I, I would tell myself that every time I wanted to cheat, even though sometimes, unfortunately, it's, it still happens. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely incredible. If you're thinking about doing it, you know, absolutely do it. Um, 30 pounds off your body, it go pick up some dumbbells that are 30 pounds and <laughs> just feel like what you're carrying around. Or in this case, for me, what I'm not carrying around anymore. So yeah. it's absolutely incredible. And I'm going to do it again. Um, I'm just waiting it out before I can. And then it's, uh, it's round two. And then it's the gym gain back some muscle so oh that's so cool oh my gosh that is such a beautiful testimony ben oh my gosh okay so if people want to reach out to you ben and hear more about your journey or you know get to ask you questions how do they find you yeah just find me on facebook um i'll have the link in the description but yeah ben garvey you'll find me pretty quick <laughs> perfect ben is there anything else you want to say today um just if you're thinking about it just go ahead go forward do it reach out to me on facebook if you have any questions i'd love to answer them um yeah perfect thank you so much donato how about you what say you to somebody out there who's contemplating this or is not sure whether they want to make such a life change to go from eating the pastas and the pizzas to veggies? Really? Yep. What do you say? Well, it, it, it plainly comes down to, are you satisfied with where you're at? Right? Do you like oh. living the way you are? I, I, I lived a certain way for many years and, and I tried repeatedly different things to lose weight and, and nothing worked for me. I went to a nutritionist that still basically did not give me enough information, which you would think they would, and and it didn't help. This plan gives you structure. It gives you discipline. It gives you the tools that you need in order to be successful. And that's what you need with anything in life, right? You, you have to have a plan, a purpose, you mm -hmm. know, and, and get on that path. So if, if anything that's what this gives you. That's what I needed. And, and now I have that. So now I know that I can, I can do whatever I want to do for losing the weight, for eating right, for being healthy and all those kinds of things, you know, and, and now I've, I've got that piece that was missing. So I encourage anyone out there, you know, whether it's Kyra thin or something else, just make sure it's the right something else, right? right. Because you, you have to be well-rounded in anything you do. Again, it's that balance in life. So that's what I would encourage people to do. You spoke about balance a few times tonight, and that is really important. And, and even in Cairo Thin, it's all about balance. You know, from the fruits to the veggies, um, to the to the drinking of water and the, the protein. I mean, balance. I mean, I didn't have a scale and I, I didn't have a scale in my kitchen to weigh my food. I'm being really transparent here. If a recipe said you needed a whatever amount, I just kind of eyed it and hope I'm right. And, yep. you know, so talk about balance. I literally had to go out and get a scale and I had to weigh things. 
So balance is huge and it is a big part of the Cairo Thin program as well. And for me, it's been a life change. Uh, Donato, how do people reach out to you if they would like to hear more about your journey? Uh, my information will be in the description below, but it's DonatoMotivates.com and there's email and all that information there as well. So, Woohoo! All right, guys. This has been amazing to hear more about your journey because I've heard a little here and there, but this has been really awesome to sit down and just have you guys pour it out for us and tell us where you were at and, you know, how things transformed in your lives as you, you know, you took authority and a for your life it, to, to bring change, but you took ownership of your life. And to me, that's like, I want to ring the dinner bell on that because taking ownership means investing in yourself. Taking ownership means being willing to make the commitment. Taking ownership means you are ready to do whatever it takes. Bob Proctor said, there's two things you need. You need to be able. We are able. We're God's highest form of creation. We are able and we need to be willing. And that is something we have to choose. And so if you are willing, you know you're able, then you can make the change. You can bring the change. You can be committed to it in your life. And you will not be sorry that you did. So I'm so grateful to hear your stories tonight, guys. And I know people listening all over are being encouraged and challenged at the same time. So thank you, Donato, Pastor Donato, and Ben, for being here tonight and sharing um, your story with so many of us and empowering the listeners. You're a blessing. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, blessing. And to all of you listeners uh, and viewers, thank you for sticking around and for tuning in and for hearing these stories. You can reach out to me. The information is below. You can also look for Terry's. Uh, his podcast was just last week. It's not going to be hard to find it. So you can go back and re-listen to that and you can get involved and, and take that ownership back. But I'm going to ask you to do a favor for us today. I think that these stories are powerful and I know you do too. So my mentor, Les Brown, says this, like it and share it. I'm asking you to like it and share it today. If there's a like button or a subscribe button, would you hit that right now? Thank you for doing that. And now share the message. There's somebody you know that is maybe unhappy with the way their, their body physically looks or feels. This message can help them. So I'm asking you to share it. Share it on social media. Share it in Messenger. Share it in an email. Whatever you need to do to share it. But let's take this message out there and let's get it to go around the world. Because the only way the world changes is when people in the world are willing to be world changers. So will you help us spread this message? And I thank you in advance for doing that. And please make sure you comment as well. We love to hear the comments and look back and see what people are saying. Remember, you are here on purpose with a purpose by design. And that includes wholeness and health on purpose. You're not here by default. So go out there and be the salt and the light everywhere you go. We'll see you next time on Purpose by Design. Bye for now. We've all been through it. You know, those times in life where we just want to give up. We want to give in. Where we just don't believe in ourselves anymore. You remember that mountain? that looked impossible to climb, but you did it anyway? Do you remember that race that you didn't think you could finish and you ended up on top? But see, you listen to the voice inside of you, the one that encourages you, inspires you, and drives you to do things that you didn't think you were capable of. Listen to the voice. It says one phrase that will ignite a flame in you that will set the world on fire. Can you hear it? Listen. You have something special.
You have greatness within you. Les Brown and John Tellerico present The Greatness in You. This book anthology is changing lives around the world. The magic of the human spirit is highlighted by these timeless stories of men and women who are inspiring others to discover their own greatness. A collective of talented authors has been assembled for this project. NFL Hall of Famer Brian Dawkins, influencer and entrepreneur Alicia Little, Deputy Governor of the British Virgin Islands David Archer Jr., and world-renowned actor Sam Humphrey. Through their commitment, dedication, and determination, you'll learn how you can overcome any challenge, move into your highest potential, and embrace the miracles of life. You will hear 30 empowering stories led by the world's greatest motivational speaker of our time, the legendary Les Brown. His voice has inspired millions around the globe to find their greatness. And now he's unleashing the next generation of motivators and thought leaders who will inspire the masses. So if you're ready to find the greatness in you, order your copy today. <laughs>